Hey guys, this is Canada Goose Reviews, and this is an overview of the Canada Goose Citadel Parka. If you're interested in a review of this coat, I've also made a video in which I describe some features, some things of the jacket I've liked and maybe haven't liked as much. But this is an overview, so I'll just be going through the features and the details of the jacket. So these Citadel Parkas are rated as a TI4, which means they'll keep you warm down to about negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, they are water resistant. Wind, uh, wind resistant as well and filled with 625 goose down fill. So for the features of the jacket you have these velcro straps over the double, double interlocking YKK heavy duty zipper right here. This jacket has a lot of pockets. So you've got a fleece, a fleece, a zipper enclosed, fleece lined, hand worn pockets on the lower part down here. Then you got these velcro strap, velcro um, drop down pockets overlaying on top of that. Up on the higher parts of the jacket, where you see these pockets up here, you have so you have a fleece lined hammer worn pockets underneath in here, and then on top of that, there's another layer in which there's a zipper enclosed. It's not a fleece lined pocket, but it's um, another pocket that's that fits right here. And then you have these Velcro strap, Velcro oh, drop down pockets as well on that. So you have three pockets here on each side. So you have six pockets on the front and then four pockets down here, the hand-worn pockets and the overlaying pockets. So you got 10 pockets on the front of this jacket. So that's probably more than enough stuff, space to carry stuff in. And then inside the jacket, you have a Napoleon pocket on the left side of the jacket. You have a drop-down pocket as well on the left side. You have these elastic pull tabs that will tighten the jacket closer to your waist. And that's mostly to it can give it a sleeker look and it also keeps the wind from seeping up into your core. Um, yeah, on the cuffs you have these two layer cuff systems. You have the heavy duty rib cuff here and then the shell over the lane that. So for the hood now, I'll do a 360 overview of the jacket for you. <clears throat> so for the hood, you have, they have the fur trim on this jacket, you have the option of removing it if you need to. There's a zipper on this side. You can also snap the fur close onto the hood with these snaps. And that just keeps it closer to the hood if you don't want it flapping around in the wind. You can zip the jacket and the hood up all the way to about here. And then if you need to, you can have yeah, those elastic pull tabs that will tighten the hood closer to your face as well. You can flip the hood in like this for more protection. There's a wireframe hood, or wireframe on the fur, so it gives you some um, ability to mold it and shape it how you feel it best fits you, fits your face and keeps your head warm. And then you have this thick fleece lined chin guard right here, and this is nice because when you zip the jacket up, you're gonna your chin and your face, if you have facial hair, will rub against the coat, and it's nice to have something soft there that just prevents it from being irritating and gives you it can provide a little bit of extra warmth too. Um, and then the left arm, you have these two pen pockets right here. Um, let's see. And then on the back of the jacket, you have this strap here, and that's for hanging the coat up or carrying the coat. And those are most of the features of the Canada Goose Citadel Parka. If you felt I missed anything, throw it in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be doing lots of overviews, reviews, comparison videos of all things Canada Goose. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.